Hello, it's Phil from Trifle Productions from Another Blender. Quick tip for beginners. And in this quick tip, I'm going to answer a question that was asked by a subscriber, uh, Bob. And this was based on the uh, quick tip of auto rigging your character without having to learn rigging yourself. And this question is from Bob Back Backle, I think is his last name, but Bob, this is uh, to answer uh, your question. He said, hey Tola, great video, but how do you put the textures back on the model once you have it rigged so I can put it into a game? Well, that's the thing with Mixamo that I just later on found out. Uh, Mixamo, it has a feature that when you upload your character onto their site to export it, it'll, it'll ask you the question, well, do you want the textures uh, embedded in your mesh? And when you click yes, you would assume that that would be the case. But when you open it up uh, back on your computer, it just looks like this. So I imported this model uh, as an example. But the way you can do it to actually avoid, you know, any kind of uh, issues with the textures is that before you import your model into Mixamo, make a copy of it. I'm going to change our viewport to a texture viewport so you can see the differences between these two models because these are exactly the same two models. And once you import it, uh, a, a character from, let's say, Make Human, you import it into Blender in Cycles mode, it automatically applies the textures to your model. So you don't have to do it yourself. But let's click on that. So you can see this is textured uh, for Make Human, and this one is not. So the first thing you do from a Make Human standpoint is you duplicate your model. This is the one that. Uh, we're going to keep on Blender or in Blender. And this one is the one we're going to import into Mixamo, which I've already done. And once you export it back into Blender, or import it back into Blender, in order for you to transfer the textures from this model to this model without having to do it through the note editor, is you left click on this model, the one that's already animated, hold down shift on your keyboard, left click on the textured model, press Control L, and then click on materials, and it applies that. And that's the same process that you would apply to every part of your model. Left click on the model that does not have the textures that's already animated, hold down Shift, and then left click on the textured model, Control L, materials, and it applies it. So that's the best way to troubleshoot that issue with having to reapply the textures from uh, a model that you've already created which once you've imported it into Mixamo you just make a duplicate of it before you import it in Mixamo save that duplicate import or export your animated model from Mixamo back into Blender hold down shift on the untextured model, whatever part you, you're trying to texture, uh, left click, hold down shift, left click on the textured model, control M from the pop-up menu, click materials. And that's pretty much it. I know Bob asked a few more questions, but I'll have to answer that. I'll answer Bob directly with those questions because those questions involve Unity and that's kind of a more complicated kind of situation with importing models into Unity. But back to what we're talking about with the textures, that's the easiest way you can, you can uh, apply textures or transfer textures from one model to the next. And the key thing you have to keep in mind is that when you do that, your models have to be exactly the same. They can't, you can't have like maybe a human on this side uh, with a different UV map than another human on this side with a different UV map from the first human. If you try to transfer those textures out, that doesn't really work. So the, the models have to be the exact same models, exact same UV uh, layout and unwrap. So that's pretty much it. I hope this answers Bob Bob's question, and I will actually address the other questions that Bob had directly. All right, uh, this was today's Blender Quick Tip for Beginners. And I thank you guys that have subscribed, and those of you who will subscribe in the future, really appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.